Morning guys, Thursday morning. I had to stay away yesterday, it was just too too hot for me. So as you can see, by staying away you come back and look at it. So it's that will be a harvest tomorrow. I think the wife is gonna come over tomorrow to have a harvest in the morning. Uh weeds just come in with the water, doesn't he? I hope you're all staying safe. Oh I'll show you that. I've got some got them to get in the ground and I thought I'd uh, gone through every plant and killed every uh, caterpillar and that but no <laughs> put my machete out of the way and then they're coming down there too at least you can see them right guys spokes under there are looking alright <coughs> cabbages there they're looking holy but you expect it the beet we were still looking poor we haven't had a significant amount of rain. Now then, look at all this Swiss chard. Now I haven't grown one bit of Swiss chard. Amazing, isn't it? Somebody's put Swiss chard on my plot for me. <laughs> you got to laugh. My beans are coming up, but the other side, as you can see, they've really took a clobber down the end. So I have got some more at home to come down, but I'm... This pumpkin. <laughs> Fruit trees are looking good. Uh, got the pears and a bit of a drop on. My neighbour's really doing well. Look at this lot. That's what I needed. A really good neighbour all the time. Yeah, it's getting a compost bin. But see, they work and all. They both work. But some of this lot I dig up for the chickens. Right, I'm going over there when it is over today. And I'm putting some uh, sprouts in under cover. So I'll need this netting. So warm, so so humid. It's been absolutely stupid this weather. Well. Right, I'll go in here. It really has been stupid. Right, guys, I'm going to crack on. Oh, I'll take up this side. Oh no. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting, Glen, New Zealand. When I dig up these double rows, but look, as you can see, something's having a go out. It's probably the mice or the foxes trying to get someone to eat. Right, I've got to let them out. They're moaning at me. Oh, here we go. Right, guys. Sprouts? No, they're not. I'll put these away. Ah, they're my Christmas collies. Christmas collies going in. Right, so I'll quickly clear this area, pull the big stuff out and get through it and I'll show you when I start. Right guys, I'll pull out most of the big stuff by hand and then I'll push pull hold the rest. So what I'm going to do is because I have a uh, club root on this plot, big time over there. They all look good but as soon as I've been digging the cabbages up, they've got club root and also I, uh, I uh, water. And I lime. So what I'm going to do with this, with these collies, I'm going to uh, get a bulb plant, handheld bulb plant, put some lime in, and then some water. So the roots might get a quick boost. And I've got some blood fish and bone. And we'll see how we go. The lime don't look too good. Never mind. Well, I normally say normally about 18 inches, but I'm going to put them fork, fork step apart like that. I'll be a little bit closer, but. I just want to get more in a row. Could be a little bit further. I don't know. I don't know. Right, off we go. I'll show you when I've got one of the old school. That noise there was old Jackie Chan telling me that he's here. And I'm now going to tell him to put the kettle on. Right, see, this is what I do. Ground is really dry though. Look at that, it's boom dry. We've had no rain at all in this area. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a fork out. Look at that. I might have to go and get a little spade. The ground is so dry. Right, so what I was going to do, my plan, is to drop a little bit of water in, give the roots a bit, chance, then we're going to put a bit of lime in, which is a bit damp because it's been outside. And then we've got to check the plants for caterpillars. 
caterpillars because if they eat the core out, right, blow it, it's no good. It cores all right. Right, so then we dip that in there, give it a good fill, and then a real good press to try and make the roots as tough as possible. And that's the first one. And you can see what my plan is. See, I was going to go like that, then there, but I might have to go a little bit further. I might have to go 12 inches perhaps or more. But you'll see this, this is going to come out bone dry. Sorry about that. Oh, it's about sweating my eyes now. I'm going so far, I'm going so far. Let's see if we can uh, sort it out that way. Uh, you can see the state of my camcorder, it's probably covered in dust. Uh, right. And then I'm just going to whip it out. Check the plant. As you can see, they've had a little bit of a, a ravish. I don't know if any of you up there have had anything like it. But for the last two days at home, we must have had a nest of blue bottle eggs. Blue, oh, blue fly eggs in our kitchen and the conservatory. And so as we get up, there's more and more and more. So we sealed the rooms off, put a bit of spray in, but I've turned the light off, on, and then they go to the light. You hear that, Jack? Yeah, yeah as I was saying, we got infected with blue bottles just here. They were coming out everywhere. They were even under a carpet and a doorstop. But obviously, I'm, Lasted for about a day to two, and we're totally clear now. So we don't open the windows at the moment. Oh, strange, strange, strange. Right, off we go. As you can see, the ground is so dry, it's not really soaking in, it's taken ages. But what I'm going to do is loosen my roots off and all. As you can see, but no rain at all we've had. That's been a, well, been a funny one, but I'll tell you what. Even without the rain, everybody's happy about their potatoes. Even container potatoes. I'm, I can't wait to dig my double row up. But I'm not going to try and leave it until perhaps September, beginning of September, and then I'll, I'll have to storm. I want it to be cooler though. Right, as you can see, some of the sky's got dark cloud, but we're not, we're still not getting nothing. Right, on we go. to go through these with a fine tooth comb because some of the caterpillars are so small I don't want to spray. Alright guys, I had a hell of a job digging a hole in that one. I'm doing this breaking the roots up, soaking the roots, roots into it and all. I'll try, I might have enough for half a row going towards the sweet corn. I want to put some carrots over that side. Hopefully the fruit will stop any smell. Everybody's going on, but <laughs> I don't mind. I'll crack on and get more done when you're on your own. It's nice to have friends, but sometimes you're what's that? Don't get nothing done. All right, guys, there's one row in. I'm going to put the next row in slightly closer than normal. I've got eight. They'll just take it up to the sweet corn. I should be able to get a couple of covers or one cover going on with a whole lot. Let's see. Still warm. Off we go, guys. Oh, guys. There we go. Here's eight. Just saying one might not take it all. There's eight this side. So there's got to be about 16 the other side. Let's see how we go now. That's it for the day. Now two o'clock. I might go pick the wife up. All right, guys. Yeah, hot. It really is hot. Beans on there. French beans are coming on. Lovely. I've got some beans on them. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see when I dig up a double row. All right, all right, put this up tonight as a small clip. Stay safe, everybody. Be happy, guys. Here are my tomatoes. You see, I've got too much water in them. They're tiger wool. They've got lovely, they have a lovely taste. Some nice pickings in there and all. 
having a sour of tea. Maggie's left me some plums. Uh, that's probably about the last harvest here. Today we're now going. I'm now going on my side. Uh, blue bottles. There they are. Bloody infested women in our kitchen and our conservatory. Every time we shut the door, more will come. But I think we're sorted out now. Right, guys. Stay safe, everybody. Be happy. Bye for now.